Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for a sit down video which has been a little while but I mentioned in a vlog that's either just gone up or will be going up at a breath that I was going to do a few more sit down videos and I was going to start with an empties. So this is one of my final days in my current flat, which is a tiny bit emotional, but I am so excited to move. So I've obviously for years and years been collecting all of my empties and I've got quite the collection here. And obviously I don't want to move with a big pile of rubbish. So I'd really like to talk about them and then I can throw them away and then I can start my new flat fresh. So for anyone who wants to know, this basket is from Primark. I don't know if Primark stock it anymore. I'm gonna go in no particular order. I'm just gonna like pull it out, really quick reviews and move on. Otherwise this video is gonna be super duper long. I recently bleached the shit out of my hair and it was so, so dry. So there's quite a lot of hair care stuff in here. And one of the hair care things I picked up is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair Food and Banana Shea 3-in-1 Hair Mask. Jesus. I like this hair mask. I wouldn't say it is a firm favourite. There's another one that I've got on the go at the moment, which is from Amika, and I prefer that one a lot more. But considering how cheap this is and how much product you get, it is a pretty good hair mask. It's just not a firm, firm favourite. Speaking of Amika and of hair care, this is the Amika Bust Your Brass Cool Shampoo Repair. Pardon. This is the Amika Bust Your Brass Cool Shampoo. Oh my god. The Amika Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. I also have the hair mask, which is what I was literally just talking about. This stuff is just the best. Like honestly, the best stuff in the entire Thai world. If you watch my vlogs, my very first vlog, I got my hair bleached. And I don't know what the hairdresser did, but the bit that she bleached was like yellow. And then obviously the bit that had been bleached before was like an icy cold blonde. And I mean, it's still not perfect. I mean, it's still a little bit yellow, but considering the color it was, I don't think it's gonna be fixed any more than it is now. And literally the amount of brassiness that I've knocked out of my hair is just insane. And it is this stuff and it leaves your hair so so soft and healthy and shiny and every time I use it my boyfriend's like your hair is like really soft and like if he notices it like come on I have the Amelia Wright transforming body lotion this is the scented one so this one has like a kind of like a summery citrusy fresh scent so the original one is unscented which means it kind of smells like this really weird scented cream thing. This one knocks out that scent. I prefer this one, but essentially it's the same product. This is amazing. I don't get the bumps on my arm that this is like specifically designed for, but I have this like skin condition on the back of my legs, which means like they, they dry and they flake in like round patches of red skin. And this does help for that. The only thing that really helps it is um, doctor prescribed medication, but this does stop it from getting worse while I wait for my GP to actually see me face to face. Got a body bath here. I have nothing to say about this other than it was nice. I have here the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I've had this for so long that the lid has got gross. I know people love cleansing balms. I just can't get into them. I don't think I'm a cleansing balm person. It takes off makeup really, really easily. Like your makeup will literally just melt off of your face, but my face doesn't feel clean afterwards. And I think it's just a personal thing. I quite like a face wash that kind of like foams up. And I know that it's completely irrational, but I, if I use this, I have to follow up with the second cleanse. I love this in makeup removal. I'm not a fan of it for like cleaning your face. And then speaking of, firm favourites. I think I spoke about this in a vlog, but I've definitely spoken about it multiple, multiple times over on Instagram. This is the Algonist Alive Prebiotic Balancing Mask. I've had this for actually quite a long time. 
it's one of those face masks where there's a lot of product in there and you don't actually need a whole lot so because it's got prebiotic ingredients in it it is really really good at rebalancing your skin's kind of natural bacteria and your natural like the things that should sit on your skin naturally and i have obviously recently come off the pill which means my body has gone through the most horrendous hormone change and so i've been getting the most horrendous breakouts on my chin obviously it is primarily hormone based but this has been really helping to kind of rebalance my face and so therefore that one spot that i have stays as a one spot and doesn't just like spread and go everywhere and I mean, even before I came off the pill, if my skin was going through like a day where it just looked or felt rough, and I can't really explain why, this proper resettles everything, would 100% repurchase. This is just a mini of the Garnier Micellar Water. I've had so many of these. Can you tell I'm moving and therefore I'm trying to get through stuff? I've got a lot of face masks. Most of these, if not all of them, were gifted in some way, shape or form. But I I like a sheet mask to feel relaxed. I'm never 100% sure they do anything for my skin. And I don't know if it's just the ones I try or I don't leave them on long enough or I don't do them enough. I love the feeling of a face mask. I just don't know if they work. The one I think actually got closest to working is the, this is going to be a weird one, is the Friends Revolution Hydrating Hyaluronic Sheet Mask. My skin did look really nice the day after I used this. The rest of them were lovely. They're not bad. I don't know if they made any difference. So uh, who remembers when I used to exercise? Hopefully when I move, I will get back into it, but I've completely fallen out of exercise. When I was doing exercise, this stuff is the best. It also still smells amazing. This is Radox Muscle Relax Bath Salts. And I don't think it necessarily has to be these explicit ones, but bath salts, if your muscles really, really ache, so therefore just like doing any kind of activity, be it like walking or sitting down or standing up, hurts i mean it shouldn't you should exercise and stretch but if it does this is amazing i really really enjoyed this it also left my skin feeling like almost like buttery it was really really weird but i love this stuff uh there was a shampoo that went with this but i clearly finished the shampoo first <laughs> this is the function of beauty conditioner i actually like function of beauty i've got a second bottle that's still in the box i think it deserves a lot of the hype it gets i think you get a deceptive amount of product in here like it lasts for a suspicious amount of time is it the best thing since sliced bread no are there other brands out there who do equally nice if not better shampoo and conditioner yes i forgot my train of thought <laughs> yeah i actually really really enjoyed this stuff postage takes a trillion years i mean i'm uk based and obviously this company is based in the states but it's not just the transport from america to england it's the because it's all handmade or custom made it takes forever so if you're urgently looking for shampoo conditioner run a mile maybe run to the shops if you want to try something new i'd recommend it otherwise i'm really interested more of other things amika does mm, what's next more bubble bath so same opinion of this as i had on the other it's good i like it this smells delicious it's the imperial leather polynesian paradise sweet peony it smells delicious it bubbled so i bought this by mistake well not by mistake i bought it through tesco and didn't realize that it was like a, a brand sold at tesco but it, it's just baby shampoo i use baby shampoo to clean my makeup brushes I have no affinity to one brand or another because I don't have a baby and I don't use it for the purpose that it's designed for. But for deep cleansing makeup brushes, I use baby shampoo. It's gentle, it's unscented. And this is just a bottle I had. I finished up the Elemis Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. Love this, lovely texture, lovely kind of 
thick but not too thick night cream i'm not sure it's worth the money but i liked it is that a review don't know i've got the beauty bio the nightly moduline peptide filling sphere serum i like these that's about it i i mean i didn't notice the hugest difference when i was using them nor have i noticed a massive difference when i've stopped using them i think there are serums out there that i like more but these are nice got the quarterly vino pure purifying gel cleanser i keep getting samples of this like it's it's in every single advent calendar beauty box uh that's the two places that you get random selections of makeup i like this it's nice not sure i'd ever buy it but i like it got two things here from glossy box i finished their it was like a red clay mask slash wash loved that would we purchase that one i liked the hydrating mist this is like a really quick and easy way to get a bit of hydration into your skin i liked this not obsessed with it did so with the moisturizer it was also one of those things that i liked but didn't love She's how I'm feeling about a lot of things in this empties video. Am I really, really picky? One thing I did love and do love is Malin and Goat. Uh, I love their vitamin E face moisturizer. This is the vitamin B5 body moisturizer. Equally lovely. The thing I really love about this brand is that the textures of their creams are so light and refreshing and easy, but there's so much moisture in them. The last skincare item before we move on to a little bit of makeup. This is the Now Green Coffee Extract Caffeine and Acmella Anti Fatigue Eye Cream. Love the texture, love the hydration, weirdly love the bottle. Because it's a super natural product that has no like chemicals in it as such, this stinks. It really, really stinks. Like it really smells a bit funky. As long as you can get past that, everything is really really nice makeup makeup so we've got two brow gels both i feel polar opposites about grim <laughs> we've got uh something from makeup revolution the name was completely rubbed off this is a clear brow gel did nothing you rub it for your brows i've obviously used most of it you rub it for your brows makes your brows a bit wet and that is it. I don't look anymore. It's disgusting. And then a brow gel I'm obsessed with. Every time I use it, people comment about how nice my brows look. I love this so much. And I nearly purchased three on the website the other day and then realized I was moving and I should probably just wait till I move. I'm obsessed. And it is the Refi I don't know, it just says Refi on it. It's it's the Refi Brow Wax Slash Gel. What I really love, I mean, mine looks grim. What I really love about this product is it's somewhere between a wax and a gel. So you put it on your eyebrows, it does come out a bit white. So you have to be kind of careful how much you put on there. But if you put a lot on, you can create the like most perfect like soap brow brow. Or you can use like a little tiny amount and it just sets them down. This is the best. We have two mini mascaras here. We've got the Tarte Light Camera Lashes, which is a really nice everyday mascara. Like it's not particularly anything too much. It's just a really good everyday mascara. That's what this does, in my opinion. And then I have the Laura Mercier Cava... Cav... Cav caviar volume now this is a volumizing mascara this is always too much volume i also don't like the brush very much i mean it's it's humongous i wouldn't repurchase this just because it's not my thing but if you like a really really like thick voluminous lash this did do a good job of it it's just it was it was just too messy for me i ended up getting mascara like on my eyebrow like it was just everywhere and then last two things before we have an empty basket that I can now pack is an eyebrow pencil and an eyeliner. So the eyebrow pencil is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. A lot of these pencils are identical. Uh, Max Factor do one, I think Rem will do one. This is the Maybelline one. And I think Rev, no, do Rev do one? They're super, super fine, which means you go through them 
at a rapid pace but if you just want to like draw a couple of brows in especially when i use like this brow gel this pencil is really really good for that and then last but not least something i am going to be sad to see disappear out of my life is the nyx vivid brights eyeliner in the shade vivid fire i think they've discontinued this range of eyeliners nyx for me are the king of eyeliners if i'm looking for a colorful eyeliner nyx is where i go i love colored winged eyeliners really sad to see this finished I've, I've just used it up who knew i wore red eyeliner that frequently and there you have it two to three months of beauty empties i moved the camera you could be in a different place i'm not really sure i hope you guys enjoyed this video i quite like empties i like just sitting down and chatting i like to chat and also i find you only know if someone really truly likes a product when they finish the entire thing or in my case when they still feel on the fence about the product when they finished the entire thing <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of more sit down video and i will see you guys on sunday in my next weekly vlog